What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Sure, we're talking about Scream 7 primarily in this video today, but before I get into what I want to talk about with Scream 7 and how it ties into recent comments from Jenna Ortega, I want to touch on another series that Jenna Ortega has been a part of, and that is the upcoming final season of Netflix's You. So You Season 5 will indeed be the end of the hit Netflix series. Netflix made the announcement this past week, which excited many longtime fans like myself who are ready for the story to end because the creators along with the fans understand that Joel's story Joel Goldberg his story has to end there has to be some type of end point in sight because uh, the character himself he just needs to be stopped uh, I mean they even tease the end by by the end of the fourth season by having a fake out death of sorts occur during the fourth season but Joel made it out alive of course as we all know and saw if you are someone who watched you season four Joel is now back in New York by the end of the season where he where we first met him in season one which is another sign that again that the stage for the end was being set and season five will take us down one last chaotic adventure with Joel I would assume now I want to bring this up since Jenna Ortega is who I'll primarily be using to discuss our stream info today i really do hope that her character of ellie who she played wonderfully in season two will ret will return since her wednesday schedule as we found out recently kept her from returning in a planned return they had in mind for season four but she didn't get to do it because of her wednesday schedule which in the end she should be thankful for the fact that wednesday ended up being the hit that it was so maybe you know everything worked out for the better in that she can hopefully return for the fifth and final season so she can be present for the downfall of Joe Goldberg. But if you are someone who is looking forward to you ending, what did you think about season four? How do you guys think Joe's fall from grace will go down in season five? Do you think Ellie will return in any capacity? Do you think that Kate will go down along with Joe? Uh, I've seen rumors that this should come out in 2024, but we'll see if that ends up being true because i would expect them to start filming later this year if it is indeed planning to come out in 2024 but you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you think about that and if you're a fan of you or not i mean that's on you <laughs> but jumping into scream 7 so jenna ortega again talking about her in this video had some fun and exciting Scream 7 teases that I wouldn't label as official, but they are still fun to speculate on, of course. So in a new magazine interview, Jenna revealed that discussions about Scream 7's location have been discussed with radio silence. She went on to say this when asked about where they would like to see Scream 7 take place. She said Paris would please me. I was there recently with my mom and I loved it. Otherwise, Mexico, since Melissa and I are Latinas from Mexico or why not a ski resort in Switzerland? If you have an idea for us, uh, we were discussing this yesterday with Matt and, Matt and Tyler, who we know are our directors from Radio Silence. And she went on to say that the general consensus is it would be more like Fiji or some exotic place to enjoy the beaches and the sun. Honestly, it's too early to say, but I'm sure the writers are already thinking about it. Now, see the question marks that I have here. Do you already know about this? And instead of telling us, you're just speculating on it? Or do the directors know about this? And that's why they were open to discussing it with you because they know about it and didn't want to flat out tell you, but they saw an interesting conversation opportunity to have by speculating on the fact that Scream 7 could be taking us abroad or even going to a resort location like i've seen a lot of people say they would love to see i've already seen the comparisons of course this would be screams version of i still know what you did last summer i get all of those jokes but if they were to go abroad i have thought about what if ghostface were to go to london and the reason i bring up london is because that's like the easiest thing to think of when considering that christina carpenter was away on a trip in london i believe is what we were told in screen five and that's why we didn't see her now Let's say that she goes back to London for whatever reason. In between what's happening in Scream 6 and Scream 7, she goes back to London. And our returning survivors, our core four, along with Gail Weathers, Kirby, Sydney Prescott can somehow be factored into that. Although Sydney Prescott going to London, I don't think would probably be something I find too believable. Uh, the way you could get everybody in London is let's say Christina has something occur in which that in which let's say that Christina is our opening kill. So Christina could indeed still be back in London because of something that went on between the events of six and seven pertaining to work. She travels to London, receives a phone call from Ghostface to start up our movie. Ghostface terrorizes her during the opening sequence. You can have the character played by Sama Hayek or any other amazing actress that can fill the role. 
Uh, Charisma Carpenter is another person I would love to see portray Christina, but Christina would be the opening kill. And because Tara and Sam are not in London, when they hear word that their mother has been brutally attacked by a ghost face killer in London, they then, of course, take it upon themselves to say, hey, we're going to London to look into what happened to our mother. Even though she disowned us, we want to see what happened to her. Now, here's the thing. The other people involved in this, uh, Chad and Mindy, and even let's say somehow you can factor in Kirby. Also, Gail Weathers, of course, who would probably tag along since it's a ghost face killing spree occurring. They would tag along because of the fact that for Chad and Mindy, they just don't want to be apart from them since this did indeed involve Ghostface. So they would feel they are in like they would feel entitled to kind of come along with them as if they owe them something. They don't want to split split up when it comes to Ghostface attacks. And of course, Gail would come along for the obvious reasons related to anything related to covering a story for her morning show. And just, of course, making sure that the kids are safe out in London. Something could occur that ultimately brings Sydney into the mix. But again, getting Sydney Prescott to London might be the biggest hiccup to me if they were to take this story abroad. Well, I guess any place abroad. Bringing in Sydney and having her abroad in the mix of this, you'd have to come up with something pretty convincing to make me believe that she traveled this far because of Ghostface. Again, the easiest thing to do would be having a Ghostface killer abduct her child. And I guess take the child abroad, which I guess in a lot of ways does seem a little bit too far fetched. But it is something I would still find a little bit more digestible than just Sydney thrusting herself into the mix because Ghostface is back and because Gail Weathers asked for her help. If anything, she's going to do the same thing she did in Scream 6, which is take her kids and Mark and go someplace safe. She only got involved in five because Dewey was a special case. So I don't think you should create a habit of using the same formula you use for Dewey in each new movie just to have Sydney in the mix. Having Ghostface abduct one of her kids is the safest thing to do. It's the easiest way to get her involved. As far as going abroad, I think it could work. I do like the idea of us getting some type of ski resort setting as well. I've seen people talk about how they would love to see the movie set in the snow. I see nothing wrong with any of the speculation I've seen online from some of you as it pertains to where Scream 7 should be set at. I think somehow I would still love them to factor in a true crime series angle in some capacity, just so that way you have a way to commentate on true crime. I still think if we go abroad i would still keep my killers as leslie mocker and somebody else assisting her as an accomplice tied into the victim's family members and what their thoughts are on all the exploitation and wrap it up like that but you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notification so you never miss a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course so let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video